Hey, you guys. Okay, so today we took a turn, okay? So I'm going to do a video that is just so many golden tips on must-have pieces for summer. All of my favorite jewelry, which honestly isn't much. Um, favorite must-have pieces, how to mix and match your stuff. So definitely a summer lookbook without like the fussiness. I want to show you guys how easy it is and how easy it can be to get dressed for the summertime, to have like some cute things, some outfits that, you know, you can definitely mix and match other pieces, things that we have gotten. This outfit's a total mix and match, okay? Um, things we've gotten years ago, things we've gotten from all different places because I feel like what I'm doing here and what the message is that I've always tried to give is that we go for the good stuff. I'm not theming a video this or that or trying to appeal to someone and going to buy a bunch of stuff that I don't want. If you see me buying things from anywhere, it's stuff that I truly love and things that if we're spending money on no matter how much or, le or little, we should be able to like pull from those a season after from season after season. The idea, and I think that we're becoming much more savvy just in general um, as, as, as people, as consumers, as people that consume all of this content and all of these outfits and look after look after look after look and you see the people never wearing them again and you think, my gosh, this is overwhelming, it's a lot of money. When you buy these pieces that I recommend or that we, we love, you should be able to love them forever. You should be able to pull from them and wear them year after year with some things that are fresh. So we do have a lot of fresh things, but I'm gonna show you how it's truly like building upon other things when you truly have a good style. Because anyone, that's what style is, anyone can go and you see the most like popular, wow, this person only has it together. They, I mean, anyone can go pick an outfit off of a mannequin or out of a catalog, a catalog, right? Okay. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Style is about like, knowing that you've picked classic pieces year after year that you can add with new things, having an eye for like things to pick up, and um, mixing, you know, the shorts from my L&M sets that I recommended a couple months ago with this top from a Walmart set from a couple years ago, which if you didn't get th those, you guys, and you were like, kind of like, you know, if I did the Walmart videos, like, mm, I'm not doing that, you really missed out, okay? You missed out on a lot of stuff, and we, I mean, just good, good staple things. Um, this is a new blazer, okay, that I added in that is just so light as air. It's not even like, I mean, it's lined with stuff that's like so thin and breathable, like the wind just goes right through it. So perfect for summer. It's hot. It's 100 degrees where I live right now. I'm not going out, you know, an outdoor thing wearing this. If I did, I would take this off. I would wear this at night. This is perfection for like night, nights out. But my point is, is you should be able to go into your closet, grab from things just as easily as you would your favorite pair of sweats. That's why we like sweats. That's why we like comfort, comfortable things because it's just, obviously you're around the house sometimes when you wear those things, but it's just easy to grab. So we find ourselves grabbing those things when we go out and being a little intimidated sometimes and putting outfits together. And I want to take all that away, show you a few key pairs of denim, a few things that you might want to add in. And you will have a full wardrobe for summer with just tons of outfits. And this isn't going to be like a, you know, like a lookbook where it's like, here's five looks, boom, where I'm just like this, you're done. I'm showing you sets. I'm showing you certain pieces that you could literally put together in endless ways, okay? So a lot more bang for your buck. I'm going to show you like the, the few pieces and like my kind of like theory on all of this in the beginning. Um, must have things, some jewelry that will never steer you wrong. You don't have to have some full case of jewelry to like put a ton of looks together. I find myself grabbing for just, you know, the same things I hate to say over and over, but that, I just think that that's what makes everything good. And that's what all of these clothes should be. Like your favorite t-shirt, like your favorite outfit that you could just put on every day. We all have that. You should have like an entire section of your closet that's like that that you could go in in the morning. You don't have to lay out some big thing. Like I put this together in two seconds because I know all these things work. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna show you things that work, okay? So we're gonna talk about this to begin with in this view and then I'm gonna move the camera and we're gonna try everything on. So accessories are important, okay? I'm gonna link to everything that I talk about. These and I think, you know the 90s again are kind of having a moment, whatever. I mean, a moment, okay, understatement, but these I remember, and when I got these a couple years ago, I told you guys the same thing. My mom had a pair of these, like in the 80s and 90s that she wore. She had a necklace with a coin on it or something, but I really love coin jewelry. I found these, 
they have the same thing. I think they're by the same brand too. Um, they're just a little updated. I think they might even have like a little pearl in between one of the things and the one that doesn't. So I will link to those so you can still find these. Um, you know, just a great pair of earrings, you know, little studs. I have some little crosses, which I'll link to those as well that I love. Just basic, you know. Didn't have to like overly accessorize the outfit or anything. Um, and then, you guys, I just, I've gotten so many hoops over the years. But these are my absolute favorite. I first saw these on the Kardashians, um, the, the big ass hoops. And I really love this size. I'll link to both of them. I believe these are the three inch, which I love those. But these are the ones that you see me wearing most of the time. These are still pretty big, okay? These are still bigger than some of my other hoops I consider to be like very large. Um, so I would start with these, maybe the two inch ones. But I really do like these, the three inch ones too. They're really, I mean, with an outfit like this, just so chic, pull your hair back, put on your hoops, like go live your life in the summertime, okay? Um, so yeah, that's just my whole message. Like it should not be hard to get dressed, okay? And you should be able to look great. That doesn't mean you're just like, eff like effortless shouldn't be like, you just look like you rolled out of bed. Okay, that's a whole different vibe too. But I think that like, this is a cute outfit and it feels and looks effortless. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, um, necklaces. Get you one really good, like I, I just, this, the nameplate trend, it's, it's not really even a trend. I mean like it's just something we've always loved from monogram things to things with our names on them. And of course these necklaces like, you know, you'll see them on certain people or they'll kind of have a moment, but they are classic, I guess is my point. And they just look so dang cool. I can put this necklace on with anything. And I love it. Um, also, I did get another color of one of these. I can't wait to show you. These are so beautiful. The diamonds that this brand does, like the diamonds, right? I think they're called like better than diamonds or whatever. Really nice just for your like costume jewelry. Not costume, but just things that aren't like fine jewelry. You know, don't spend an arm and a leg. Like you can get things that look nice. I love this one. And as I've said before with lookbooks, I like doing these because I find that when I do these and I kind of talk it out, I find myself wearing these things more. You don't, you may, you're watching this, you're probably not like someone that films videos on YouTube or you're not going to put together a lookbook to put out there, but do it for yourself. Get in your closet, get in your room, get your, wherever, hang up your clothes, like kind of go through, find a few outfits, put them on and look at them. That way you know they look good. And then once you wear something and it looks good, you're more likely to wear it over and over. Do you see what I'm saying? And then you'll have some things that work. So my closet, I've done many videos about organization. I do have one fairly recently where I showed in every drawer and everything. So before you ask about that, it's been done and it's nothing, nothing is different. Um, but you know, I have some different sections, but then here where some of these things like the black things could go in this or, you know, certain knits could go over there. I like to keep this section things that are like outfits I've put together, things that I want for this current season that I don't want to forget about, things that are just easy to grab from. And I do need to thin it out a bit and kind of, um, you know, but it's, I think that's a nice thing, whether you have a section in your closet to do this, just a little part, which growing up, I had a reach in closet and I always had this part of my, I always had a little section that may have had things that didn't make sense there that should have been hanging somewhere else but they were the things that I grabbed for every day and I want you guys to do that with the clothes that you're actually spending money on you know like things that are nice and exciting and not just like your basic t-shirt or your basic this or that in the one little section put your good stuff out you know your different stuff um again like I said in a moment I'm gonna try on these things but let's kind of go through so I told you some must-have jewelry We've got to get in to the blazers. I mean, this is a whole thing this year. Now you may say, well, then I got to have the matching shorts and this and that. Well, if you guys took my advice and bought these sets, which I really hope that you did a couple months ago, she still has them. They're so great. They're like, they look like a linen blend, but they're very stretchy. So, so cute. I do have a video and mini posts where I've tried these on so you can look back. But these are the shorts from, um, from this set. And the black shorts from the black set, so amazing. I throw these on with a bunch of different things. I can throw it on as a set. Just, okay, I know the set works. I'll grab that and wear it for the day, right? The yellow, I'll grab the yellow and wear that for the day. The shorts are inside of there. But then also the shorts could be used, you know, mixed with other things. This blazer, like I said, must have, and I didn't mention this, but it comes in four other, like almost like pastel -y colors. There's an orangey color that looks kind of like this. There's a sky blue, there's a pink. Um, I hope that you guys grabbed this. This is such, 
This is so nice, you guys. It's so, I mean, just beautiful. The quality is amazing. And then the shorts are cut very similar to these. And so what I did the other day is, you know, obviously I wear this outfit together. I put it on with my, like, Walmart, you know, little, which they don't sell these anymore. Hope that you guys grab them, like I said, with the matching skirt because that whole outfit is just such, like, a good vibe. But I will link to similar ones like this. But, you know, I kind of do that. I could wear this black one with it. Wear whatever you want with that. But then you can also grab your shorts and put them on with a t-shirt. I did this in my um, video the other day day what was it uh no I didn't do it in a video it was I think I mentioned it in the, the last video where I tried on all the new LM stuff um I still have a few more things coming but I showed oh it was just an, on Instagram I wore this out the other day this is such a cute top the purse um t-shirts are just they're they're just silky they feel like a million bucks like they feel like you know when you go into like a little boutique or like a little like designer store and you feel that like $150, $500 t-shirt or whatever and you're like, ooh, that's nice. That's what these feel like, okay? And they're not that much, okay? Um, but I just love this. I love the font of it. I just love the graphic of this. She does a graphic tee so well. And you need some of those things too to kind of spice it up. And you could put this on with the white shorts. I really love it with the pink shorts though because of the little, kind of matches that pink logo. Um, and then the basic tees. Now I could have done th these basic tees with this. I'll try this on because I think, I mean, you guys, these are great. Can you see, I just want you to see like, again, this is one of those sh shirts that you'd feel and think, wow, like this is something very, very special. They don't wrinkle. They feel so amazing. And they come in three different colors, which are going to be like your everyday basics. You can put these on with anything, with any of these shorts. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I honestly don't even have to try on a lot of this stuff because I have. We'll try on some stuff, I promise. But I just hope that I'm helping you, like, put some things together in your mind. A great pair of denim shorts, okay? I have two pairs that I really love. Um, this pair of Levi's. I, I love, love, love the wash of these. And then these are also my other favorites just from years past. These are very old they're my a gold, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I love, love, love that brand. And um, a pair of shorts, okay, you just need one pair. And then honestly, just one really good pair of denim. These are so destroyed, but you all see me wearing these all the time. If, I, if I'm ever wearing destroyed denim, it's, denim, it's usually these. Um, they will stretch and they just get better and better. But you could throw on a pair of denim, shorts or jeans with this t-shirt the jewelry and you are like your your set okay all right so I want to show you the fit of these t-shirts quickly before we talk about these t-shirts um, I want to go back to that quickly with the blazer you may see things like okay this pink set's very unique it's definitely worth it it's one of those items that if you buy you'll have it for years and you'll always have that go-to outfit for anything that'll look like a million bucks um, but chances are you probably already have like a white blazer, a black blazer, an oversized something that you can put with the white shorts from these sets that you guys bought or a, a pair of white shorts, a pair of black shorts. You may not realize that you already have something kind of cool and it is fun to kind of play around with. Let me show you guys. So this top, I, I just have it on with those same shorts. You could tuck it. I like to just let it go because these tops are cut so perfectly. They're not too short, they're not too long. You don't feel like you have to tie them up. Y'all know I love to tie a top. And they just hang perfectly. They fit so, so amazing. And I cannot wait for the other set. She's got another one that's so good that I can't wait to show you guys. But I think too, we get hung up on basics. I think it's nice to have some good basics, to have some basics that are a little more elevated and updated. Like these tops are cut probably different than any just basic white tees or black tees that you have. They're a little more current, but they're just so good. They're so silky and cool. I could just live in these. All. But it's nice to add in some different things. So these are so, so adorable. And I'll show you guys how I kind of um, tie those here in a second. I'll probably just go ahead and put those on. Um, but then you could also mix and match those shorts as well. Do like I did the other day. I had on the pair of shorts with this with the white t-shirt. If you've got these t-shirts, you have a million outfits. You know what I'm saying? Like you just don't ever have to like really look for something specific. Okay, so this set, this gingham set in the most beautiful like French 
blue love it also comes in red and I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can style this and wear it because again mix and match the shorts wear the shorts with some of the more like you know the plainer tops um, like a base, more basic tees but then it's just an easy no-brainer outfit so I left this bottom button undone because I wanted to show you what I like to do with it obviously you could button it wear it like this slipper super cute what I like to do is I take just leave the bottom undone and you just tie it up in a little you just kind of work to tie it in a little little knot and then you kind of can adjust it and I think that's really cute now I am not a midriff person as you clearly see my midriff here if the shorts come up at the right and they hit you at your natural waist okay it's not showing your belly okay you've got this but generally I think that's kind of not I, I just don't feel so like exposed do you know what I mean um, I just think that's really cute and I think you know kind of get it right up under your boobs you could make you know you could do it even shorter if you were really like you know somewhere where you felt more comfortable doing that but just kind of pull it like that and it's cute for every day and I just think kind of like makes this outfit a little more fun for the red, just some sort of like anything. I was going to say like a graphic, like cutesy sandal or, or a nothing, a graphic sandal. Like what I did was that. Um, just those nude sandals, anything honestly would go with this. But I love, love, love the red. I think it's so, so sweet. Here's what it looks like buttoned all the way down. Just kind of hanging super cute. But I want to show you also, you saw how I tied up the bottom of that one. Let me show you what you can do kind of like if you're out and you might want to like put it up a little but then you also might want to put it back down throughout the day and you don't want to wreck your shirt you can definitely like topsy tail it you are gonna get what i'm saying in a minute okay topsy tail anyone anyone all right so button it up and then take the bottom and grab it through that little you know what i mean just kind of tuck it back up and through without unbuttoning that bottom one and just work it until it um kind of comes out okay it's like not rocket science like it's so it's such a cute way to do it do you guys remember the topsy tail I still see things like I'll be scrolling Pinterest and I'll see someone like showing like oh here's a ponytail and then they'll flip it and they'll be like ah and I'm like that's a that's topsy tail okay we've been we've been there we've done that okay 80s kids am I right 80s and 90s kids but this is just an easy way to do it and then um it won't like wrinkle up your shirt to hell and back and then like if you did okay I want to leave and wherever I'm at and I don't want that you know I'm not gonna commit to that all day then that's an easy way to do it and I just think these are so adorable now I'm not usually like a big statement like print person I feel like a lot of times things can go kind of costumey and I see people posting these elaborate outfits and it looks like you were just on stage like for like I don't want to look like that you can have this like beautiful like just put together I just think Jen does things really well anyways but I just I, I love this set I love the fit of it and everything and then this is something too speaking of enter speaking of pattern and print and stuff which I've got a few jumpsuits and things I'm gonna get into like one piece outfit something you can grab and wear right that is a huge summer staple for me and if I were gonna pull five essential outfits for summer that that would be one of them right just like grabbing for a quick like jumpsuit which I'll show you guys some great ones that I've been living in this top looks again because you guys don't like I, I do try to find really great thing obviously it's things that I'm wearing not just to like show in videos but it's like this is my wardrobe like I really find the good things this top is so affordable. It looks like something so, it just feels like something so like rich and like spendier than it was. It's, it's a good price point. It comes in so many different colors, a beautiful lavender, which I love. I don't have really anything lavender. I don't know, I'm not so much of a purple, but I, could just, I mean, where are you gonna find, there's just not that many Think maybe, I don't know, I'm just not drawn to it, but the lavender, this is beautiful. There's a beautiful like rosy antique pink. I believe it comes in white and black as well. But I have just really been into like these beautiful Frenchy blues. Um, blue's always been my favorite color. But I really do like this one. I do have some posts on Instagram, and I believe I may have worn this in a video. Wear this with those destroyed jeans. Throw it on with your shorts. Throw it on with any of the shorts from these sets. 
but look at it with these. Do you see what we're doing here? This is like a mix and match. Once you find these good pieces and you're confident in your style and you kind of pick things and select things like mindfully, again, you'll have endless outfits because you can mix and match everything because everything will work because it's all good stuff. You picked, okay, whatever, don't have to get into that. But how cute, okay? So you can kind of do a lot of different things. Um, I guess I'm showing you this just to say, throw in a fun top, okay? Get you a fun top. The t-shirts and stuff, I'm talking about like these, you know, these basic tees that I showed before are basic, but they're special enough to like, you know, where they look good when you wear them. They're not just like, oh, that's just a basic tee. It's basic in that it like goes with everything. Um, but I think sometimes you do need to throw in something a little fun. Let's talk about jumpsuits. I know you guys, we've talked about so many recently. This one I really love. We talked about the striped cutout one. I mean, so many. Um, this one, you guys, th I'm not going to show that. That one got really hard to find. Um, I see a jumpsuit, also a dress, something that's just an all-in-one grab-and-go kind of thing. These, this is like one of those dresses that I see all the time. It's like one of those that they just have year after year in different colors because it's that good. So cute. I just pulled it on. Usually I always wear a strapless bra with everything that's like the one day that I didn't, so ignore. But it's it's just super comfortable. I mean, so flattering. You know, not, not super long to where it's like dragging the ground, but it's just easy and it comes in so many different colors. Sorry, I'm a fan of the dress. I'm a fan of a jumpsuit mostly just because of the convenience. I have fallen in love, love, love with these. I've shown this before, the black. Uh, I've showed pictures of that on Instagram. I just wore that out yesterday. I got it in white. Okay, again, ignore the bra. This needs to be steamed. But again, it's exactly like my black one. It's um, very like silky and, you know, it hits you kind of like right at the, I don't know, let me show you. It's, it's not super long. Okay, you see? And you can put it on with like flip-flops, just any kind of sandals, or put it on with like your fanciest heels. I mean, you could really make this anything. You could put the blazer over this in a matching color. I threw on the white blazer over the black one the other day just to see what it looked like, and it was pretty cute. But, you know, you could just kind of like have a whole monochromatic thing. I'm just telling you, when you get good pieces, the idea is to mix and match. Everything should kind of work together. Not every, you know what I mean. But yeah, if you buy this piece, like you should be able to throw it on with a bunch of different things. And I feel like it's not just a matter of, like I was saying before, like having a good sense of style. And then, oh, if you buy everything, it's just going to magically go together. It's also about knowing what to look for. I knew when L&M came out with these sets, I was excited about the set because I live for a set zero brain power involved, right? Like you don't even have to have style. You just get it, put it on. You don't even have to know what it, it, it looks good, right? But I was so excited about the shorts because I knew that they were gonna be like really good staples as well. So when you spend the money for the set, it's not like, okay, well, I just for when it's that, it's like you get such a good value because it's the shorts too. Okay. But I like this, I think it's very flattering. Again, like I said, it needs to be steamed, but this is again, something that you can just grab, go, put on, it's very cool. And the black is a must-have, the white is a must-have. I know that sounds crazy, but like these two pieces are probably some of my most favorite, like must-have things for summer. If I don't know what to wear, I'll grab and put this on. If I'm going to the grocery store, if I'm going to a dinner, a lunch, wherever, it's just so easy. And honestly, any of these pieces, you know, will be like that. And I think that when we buy things, the idea isn't just to like never wear it. You know, you buy things with the intention or like the dream of, oh, this is just gonna be my favorite thing. I'll just wear this everywhere. And half the time we don't. You know, you just, you end up either not liking something about it, it's not comfortable, it just doesn't look right or work right. And, you know, it might not just like work quite right. And all of these pieces do, do you know? It's just, I just hope that, um, that it's helpful. But again, just don't be afraid of grabbing like an interesting jumpsuit. So I saw this brand, and this will be kind of the final thing. You know, with the exception of, of obviously, I had this laid out, I have a nice jean jacket. I bought this one not that long ago. I carried it to, gosh, the last several trips we've been on, and it is just like, it's like a 
jean jacket that feels like you've had it since the 80s. It's like soft. It feels like there's nothing to it, but it's like pretty, I don't say bulky, but it has a boyish fit. Let's buy boyish. But a jean jacket, okay? I don't have to like, we're not reinventing the wheel or like giving you some groundbreaking advice here. But I saw this, and again, usually I'm not one for like a bunch of prints or, but I just thought these colors were so beautiful together. And it came with this little thing, which now I probably don't have, that told, you know, different ways to tie it. Um, it's just so beautiful. I'm going to put it on and we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Because again, I just think if you're going out at night, if you're going, whatever, it's nice to have those few like sort of different pieces, like the blazer set, maybe like a fun top, maybe like a cute dress or just something a little different that when you know you have something special to go to this summer or something at night or whatever, you have that like wow piece to put on. And I really think that's going to be fun. So let me try that on. Okay, first of all, I love I love this color. I love everything about this. And we're, I haven't even tied it. I just have it draped over. Uh, but I'll show you the different ways you can do it. This is not the right bra I would be wearing in the middle, you know, obviously, because you can see the thing. Um, I'd be wearing, and obviously, like, in the back, too. Wear some, like, little stickers, some pasties, whatever, a stick-on situation. But just for the sake of trying on, because this is beautiful. Tie it would have, like, a big, pretty, like, bow in the back pretty the back is. You're gonna have to wear a bra or it's gonna be like, or put a sticker on or some tape. Um, tape. It's basically like, you can see the pants, okay? It's a one piece, but it has like, um, here, like you see it's cinched. So when you put it on, you pull it on like pants and then you can do whatever you want, like with the top part of it. So you could um, tie it like this and I cannot even imagine how pretty. You could have like a huge bow in the back oh my gosh and they have a lot of different pieces okay they have like dresses by this brand let me check out this brand it's very cool so then you could take it and you could do like a wrap around this you know you could tie it from the front I mean this is just kind of like you could tie it and kind of like have it draped down the middle if you were not trying to be so out there but honestly this is one of those things like I don't think it is that out there with the boobs okay even if you just had it like this you could even take some like fashion tape or whatever and just kind of tape it here so that you knew it wouldn't like gape open but it's not like showing like it's not like out do you know what I'm saying it's actually not that revealing without full-on exposing myself so what I did here is I took the right piece and I just swung it over here. Oh my gosh, I want to get these in so many different colors. This is so pretty. What she would do with this, of course, let me think. So how would I secure this? Then I guess you would go around like that, yeah. And then maybe just leave it in the back. You could tie it. Um, yes, okay. Let's see how else we could. You could crisscross it, okay. And again, tie it at the back can't really get it right with the sleeves. There's a way that you can do it with the sleeves. Like I said, it came with a thing, but I just really, oh my gosh, I love this. This is so cool. I can't, like I've had this for a week or so and I have not tried it on. I'm just so like in love with this. I'm like wowed by this. Um, so that's it. Like I just, I didn't want to do, and I hate it. And I hate to say this cause I'm not trying to knock anything, but like, I don't want to see like an overproduced like musical like walking around with outfits like I want to give like solid advice you know I'm not here to make myself look showy or to be like wow marvel at my camera skills or trying to sell you guys on some crap like if you are here you're here I'm not trying to blow this up and appeal to 10 million people I am wowed every day by how many of you guys have watched over the years and I'm saying this because I feel like this community that we have here is such a good solid group of to so many people, I, I like again, I can't believe how many people watch and have watched over the years, but like I will never steer you wrong. I always want to give you good advice and I want these videos to be more about that than the planning and the scripting and the num the musical numbers and the TikTok cut scenes and all that. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm a very no-nonsense person. I don't want my time wasted. Granted, I will talk your ear off for an hour in a video giving you some sound advice and talking as I would a friend. But I don't want this just BS crap, you know? Um, I just love coming on here, sharing the good things, giving you guys good advice. I hope this was helpful. 
and I hope that you guys discovered hopefully some new pieces. <sighs> Hello, like now I want like they had dresses by this, but everything is just so effortless and like I just feel pretty on in this. I really like it. Okay. Um just the recommendations for the good staple pieces, the sets you should pick up, grab an oversized blazer or two in non-basic colors. I would say skip a black blazer. We have those and we're not doing that this summer. Um, maybe, you know, here and there, but, but you know, it's it, don't do the most with that. Get a nice, like white, maybe some fun colors. Grab that pink set and some of these sets that you can truly mix and match and um, It'll just be so easy. Like, I hopefully got in your head today and made your closet less intimidating. I know you've got good tops. I know you've got some things maybe you haven't grabbed for, some great, you know, go-to white t-shirts, and you might want to update them with those from, you know, those good ones that I showed because they're amazing. Um, grab a set or two in a basic color that you can also use the shorts, you know, for other things. Set out, like, your really good pair of denim. Try on your denim and get the few pairs that you really love so that when you are going to grab for something this summer, you know exactly the ones to grab for, throw it on with a t-shirt, and you're just good to go. So, um, and the few like wow pieces that you can have, you know, so that you know you're ready to go anywhere and do anything over the summer, um, or really any time. This is amazing. I just love this. Okay. So I will link to everything. I'll put my sizes. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, and I don't know if I... Um, I don't know if I fully explained um, all the way, but like this video did take a turn. I was going to do stuff on beauty today, which I'll do next week. So I got a really good thing coming up and I got, I came in here, I got dressed. I knew that a lookbook was coming up, but I thought I need to do some planning. There's going to be some planning involved. I need to lay out some outfits. I need to get it cutesy so that I'm going to try on everything and it'll be just right. And then I came in here and put on that blazer with a little top. I thought, you know what? I grabbed from my basic earrings. I was like... I'm just going to stand here and show how I would just grab things and put them together and the pieces that you need to do that because I think it's just great. I keep messing with this because I don't have it tied. I'm just basically covering myself to get through the end of this video. Um, and again, wearing all the wrong undergarments. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Cannot wait for next week's video. Subscribe to our podcast if you have not. We had such a fun, such a fun past few weeks. Um, this last one yesterday was a little unhinged. Um, as usual. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you soon and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye y'all.